Okay, everybody, what's on on? Y'all know who it is. It is us. Yes, it's <laughs> us. We are back. Yes, 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 yes. And we got a very great special guest with us tonight, Mr. Brian K. Marshall. You guys know the name. You guys might not know the face, but y'all know the name because you he because he be name. up in spots. If y'all don't, you know he be up in spots and he checking y'all out. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Because right. that's how he be nominating you know everybody for the hottest award stuff like that. So right. So don't well, go nowhere for that. We didn't even do our introduction. Oh, okay. My bad. You right. You right. You right. Yeah, you just went on into my it. my bad. Okay. Okay. Y'all know what it is. I'm Bobby and this is... I'm Renee and you're here watching Bobby and Renee with TPN Live. That's right. That's how we do yes. our intro right here. Yes, 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 yes. So um, what we got going coming up before we bring bring on Brian? Well, we okay. So we're still trying to figure out our Berlin trip. Yep. We're going for, to Berlin. For Dexter Jackson's Guide to Dating. Yes. Um, so guys, yeah, it's going to cost us a pretty penny. Plus we have some more stuff in line that we're uh, gathering our coins for. So we're stra- still trying to figure... Uh-oh. I'm trying to... Hold on. Yeah, we're still trying to... <laughs> we're still trying to figure that thing out. Mm-hmm. Um, also... Also, what? I am super excited because also in oh wait, let's uh, not skip over uh, in July. July, what is July? We are doing another screen on the green. Yes, yeah, spe- uh, well, special uh, for, invited right, guests. special invited guests for our family and friends for um, Dexter Jackson's Guide to Dating. That's right, season of two it has to be a private invite because it's going to be at our house and yeah. we can't make it public. Right, but I am super excited about that because when we do our screen on the greens, it'd be so much. Yeah, fun. it'd be so much fun, man. And then and Bryson guys. love it too because it's we celebrate Bryson's birthday. Right, Bryson's <laughs> birthday. Bryson's Bryson's birthday is actually on the 11th, right. but we're celebrating it on uh, the 14th. 14th so we're going to have a long, long, long day. Which long we day. normally always do. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes, yes. So that's going to, we're super excited about that. And then, mm-hmm, what? And then, and then what? We will start filming the mind of, of a, a woman. Yes. Yes, the We are super series. excited about that. Yeah, okay. Are we still in need for those locations? Uh, yes and no. We kind of got some stuff. Talked about, but we haven't anything locked in yet. So okay, what so we for? so we uh for the two we need two apartments, two apartments, and we need the office. And well, I got office. I got, got the o- office. I got the office. I got the okay. office. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, the club. Work on the club. There you are. Um, I'm working on that for us on that. Okay. So we, we might be good there. So okay. we, we might just need the two apartment. Well, the one nice little apartment and one crappy apartment. Well, so anyway, if you guys know anyone um, that wouldn't mind sharing their space with us, especially like a club or something like that. It's um, a bar, not a club. Or a bar. Yeah, yeah, a bar, not a club. It's a bar, like a, a bar, you know, hookah lounge. Hey, little Donna. Can't wait um, to be filming too. If they're looking for. Uh, free advertisement or anything like that, you know, or for the show, because we'll be advertising the show. Mm-hmm. Hit us up because we need that location. We also uh, need two apartments, one really nice apartment and one not so nice, a bachelor's apartment. No, not a bachelor's yeah, apartment. Yeah, it's a bachelor's apartment. <laughs> so I'm not even going to say not so nice. I'm going to say a bachelor's apartment. A okay. bachelor who don't uh, take care of his space very oh, well. Oh, LaDonna's <laughs> offered up her townhouse. Oh, okay, okay LaDonna. Okay, this, so your townhome can be for Keisha because that's what we needed for the lead character. So we'll, lead we'll, character. we'll talk about that. Like, you know, yeah, we'll, definitely we'll talk about talk it offline. About offline. Also, yeah. what else we got before we bring out Brian? What else we got coming up that we want to talk about real, real, real quick? Oh, so y'all have seen Bobby posting periodically about the TPN Film Fest coming back. As you all know, uh, we stopped the Film Fest in December. Well, uh, our last Film August. Fest was in, in uh, August. August? Yeah. August? Yeah, it was it August last year. October? No, it was August. Okay. We, we stopped the Film Fest. So it's going to be a year that we have not done the Film Fest. Um, and we got a little burnt out. But burnt out is not the word for yeah, it. Yeah, we got a little burnt out by it. And um, once you get burnt out and you, you start not loving what you're, what you're doing, then yeah. it's time to take a step back. Yep. So Bobby is ready to bring it back, guys. So 2019, we have something more in store yes, for the, the TPM Film Fest. Yes, you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to love it. You guys are going to love it. I've been working on some things. I got some things in the works. So, yeah, uh, for all those who missed the TPM Film Fest, we're bringing that sucker back. And it's going to be a three-day, two- to three-day event. So we're working on that. So it's not going to be a one-night event. It's going to be a yearly event, two to three days. Okay, yeah. guys? So... Hope y'all um ready for that. So without further ado, Yay! we're gonna bring on our uh, our special guest tonight, Mr. K K K K. Um, I'm sorry, why keep calling K? We're gonna K bring Brian, on Mr. Brian Marsh. Brian Marshall, what's He's going to on? Say Brian K Marshall. Yeah. You can't get it out. See, I should have did the introduction. We need to do that over. What? what? Bye. <laughs> what's up, man? Brian, how you doing? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. And, and K Brian does work well. I go by that. See, oh, damn. So, oh, see, K Brian. You too bad. 
bad. You don't do too bad. Good job, honey. Whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> so what up, B? Hey, man, we appreciate you taking time out your busy schedule out there lurking and, 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 and nominating these people for these awards coming up soon. Yeah. So we know we're not going to hold you up too much, but the question, I'm sure you've been asked this question plenty of times. The question is, how and why did you start the ATL Hardest yes, Award Show? Absolutely. All right. Well, it was a series of things um, that led to the creation. Um, one of them, um, my aunt passed away of cancer, so I was already on an awards kick. I created an award show for her. It was called the Dorothy P. Griffin Family Honors Award. So it was honoring people, family members who were doing great things um, within their families. Gotcha. And uh, riding down the road one day and um, listening to the radio, and I heard ad after ad come on the radio talking about the hottest club this, hottest club that. And um, light bulb went up. I'm like, well, how can everybody be the hottest? If everybody <laughs> says the hottest, who's out of that, what determines who's the hottest, you know? Right. And um, if somebody is declared something, usually it's by vote. And um, we came up with the ATL's Hottest Club Awards. That was the first uh, awards that we did in 2009. It was the ATL's Hottest Club Awards. Okay. And the second year, looking at how we could um, further grow and expand, um, being an artist myself, I was looking at the awards and it hit me, you know, you can't have the hottest club without the hottest DJ in the club. True. Uh, you can't have the hottest live entertainment venue without the band. You know, you can't have the hottest comedy spot without the comedian. And uh, being an artist myself, I said, you know, an, an award show like this would mean more to an artist than it does a club. Right. Um, being an artist, I knew if there was an award show that honored me, because I'm a singer, um, I don't particularly... I'm not pursuing a singing career. You know, I'm on the other side of it now, on the business side. But um, as an artist, I said, you know, if there was an award show like this when I was pursuing and, and being an artist as a teenager and in my early 20s, it would have been awesome because, you know, I was making some noise. And I look at the entertainers here in the ATL that are professional who are, who are serious about their craft. They're performing. They have fans. You know, they're promoting. They're marketing. They're doing everything, but they just don't have not gotten that quote-unquote record deal or they have not had that thing to propel them to the superstar status that everybody's glorifying that artist who we hear on the radio or on the right. TV. And doesn't mean they're not any much less professional than those that are art. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, you know, we need to add those categories in there and honor those people where they are right now, you know. You may not ever make it to the Grammys, but guess what? There's an award show in the ATL that can honor you for being just as hot as you are right now. Hey, That's I mean, awesome. that, it's all about being recognized from 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 your humble beginnings. You know what I'm saying? That's so right. you're definitely doing that. So so after you got that all started, like how was the process of actually just get, getting it done? Because being that we've organized events and stuff and like as, as well, you've been doing what nine years now, nine ten years. This is year number ten. Yeah, year ten. So like, awesome. how how hard was it doing that very first show to compare to now? Well, the very first show, you know, the first of anything, you know, you're breaking ground you know and if it's new people haven't heard of it and uh i was asked questions like who are you who are you, <laughs> <laughs> you know why you want to give us an award you know and that sort of thing so we had to break down a lot of barriers you know um i tell the story of one club owner we went in the door um i got permission to come in from the promoter but once we got in the door the club owner who hadn't got the memo saw my flyer and told me get, get that out of here that's not <laughs> like oh wow what? I mean, what is this and uh so once i talked to the promoter afterwards i was like hey man the club owner was he was a bit of a prick you know he, he did not uh know what was going on so he informed me who i was and what i was there for and the next time i came back i got the vip treatment ah <laughs> oh that's what he's doing that's yeah what, you know, so I mean, there's a lot of that, you know, um, even to the day, you know, it's still um, even 10 years in, you know, it's still doors we have to break down. But it's not like it was, you know, a lot of the legwork has been done, you know, and we have got to a point now where more people know about it, you know, and um, it's not necessarily a household name now, but more people know about it than, you know, ever did in the beginning. Um, I tell people, you know, if you haven't heard about it, now you have. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, right. that's how it is. That's how I do it. So, like, so now that you you're more established and people are more accepted to that, like, how is the, how is the crowd now? I mean, you know, the people who are nominated, like, how accepted are they now to the nominations? You know what? It's very accepting now. You know, we have uh, come a long way. Um, it doesn't take much convincing now. The proof is in the pudding. 
Mm. You know, we have the history. You know, we have nine years worth of awards that have been, have been presented. You know, um, it hasn't been perfect. It hasn't been easy. I'm the first one to tell you I'm very transparent in that. It has not been easy. You know, it's easier, but it's still not easy. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, so, you know, every year we're, we're striving to do better, you know, to knock out the flaws and uh, learn from previous mistakes, you know, and uh, try to give, not try, but work hard at presenting the, the hottest, the best award show that we can, that the people are excited about winning. You know, they're excited about being honored for and um, just make people feel good. You know, when they show up to the award show, you know, we, we work hard to uh, have a nice red carpet laid out. You know, we try to have the food laid out. You know, we have make you have that VIP experience that you're right. used to want to see at an award show that's honoring you. So this year is going to be just crazy. You know, OK, I, now, speak, now speaking of that, when, when did the nominations open up this year? All right, so we're currently in nominations right now. Okay. And those nominations, yeah, they will last from now until July the 10th. Okay. Yeah, July, July 10th. the 10th. So you have from now to July the 10th to go to atlhottest.com and uh, get nominated um, or have somebody else go and nominate you uh, for the award. Okay, and the website is atlhottest.com. I got it yeah. I got it at the bottom of the screen here for those who want to go and nominate somebody or, or nominate themselves as well. So now outside of the ATL Hottest Wait, award- before you move on to that, okay. because I know you're about to move on to the other thing here. Okay, okay, on. okay. I have, a, I have a, can I get a question? Well, get off your phone. I, I was inviting people. See, yeah. I'm sorry, we got to argue. I'm sorry. My bad. So listen, <laughs> I want to know who is the person that does your branding because- your branding is yes. spectacular. Re remarkable. Yeah, so who does that for you? Well, to be honest with you, it's, it's myself and a, and a small team. Um, Carol Bonner, um, a very dear friend of mine, she came in last year, and she was like, Brian, what you have is awesome. You know, let me come in and transform your look for you. And mm. she came in and she redesigned both websites, the atlhottest.com website and the Paskey Chores website. She came in, designed everything, including the logo that we have. This was last year's. Uh, we have a new one for the 2018. Um, we have a new logo. It says 10th anniversary and that sort of thing. But um, I got to give hats off to Carol for coming in and rebranding. Prior to that, you know, it was all coming out of my head. You know, this whole thing has come out of my head. I didn't, I didn't go and research a lot of award shows. I didn't want to. I didn't want to copy anybody. Right. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, mm -hmm have it original and i'm a creative person so you know i just i've, I've watched the war shows on tv so it didn't take rocket scientists <laughs> you know, to figure out how to do it but at the right. same time there's a lot of stuff it's, it's it's a lot of stuff a lot of moving parts you know that have to be accounted for you know and um like as far as the nominations are concerned i want to stay there for a minute because we're doing something different that okay. we haven't done before mm -hmm. and um there's going to be a cutoff um We've run into difficulties, you know, at the award show. If you've ever looked at the ballot, some categories may have 25, 30 names, you know, because <laughs> the ATL is big. You know, it's yeah. a lot of people do, that are doing a lot of great work, you know what I mean? And it's, it's just a lot. And um, so what we decided, you know, after years of trying to squeeze in, you know, all these categories, you know, it's over 50 categories. You know, everybody wants their category added, you know, and... Uh, I try to include as many people as we can. That's why so many categories, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, this year, what we decided to do for our 10th anniversary is to, again, learning and um, improving upon what we've built is there is the nomination period, which lasts until July the 10th. Right. And the voting is going to start on July the 17th. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do this year for the first time is there going to be a cutoff. And um, the cutoff period... It's going to end, and um, sometimes look at these dates and give my, make sure I have these right here. Um, the voting is going to start on July the 17th, and it's going to continue until October the 2nd. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's July the 17th through October the 2nd is the voting. And what we're going to do on October the 2nd, the voting is going to stop, and we're going to count, do the tallies. We're going to look at the nominees. We're going to... Search the Wars Patrol is going to get busy. We see who's doing what on the nominee pool. And there's going to be an ATL's hottest top 10. So come awards day, there won't be 50 names. There will only be a maximum of 10 
cat, ten nominees per category. So we're looking for the ATL's hottest top ten. Top ten, okay. Wow. Yeah. I mean, okay. That, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot yeah. of sense. We had, we had to figure out how to do it, man. I was racking my brain, like how, do, how, 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 you know, and um, not to be ex- excluding anybody because we wanted as many people that are that are qualified to be nominated to be nominated and give right. the opportunity to go for it, you know. And uh, so now everybody gets to be nominated. Um, as our slogan says, many are called ATL's hottest, but mm-hmm. only few are voted ATL's hottest at atlhottest.com. Okay. And um, that voting is going to uh, pick back up after we ended on October the 2nd for the top 10. The top 10 vote will start on October the 16th. Okay. And from October the 16th through November the 13th, we will be looking for the ATL's hottest. And, uh, of course, we would declare the winners on awards weekend, first weekend in December. Okay. So now, so, so I understand me clear. So after the, after you have the top 10, you're going to, are you going to have people who are, who already voted vote on those top 10, uh, yeah. again, basically. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They'll be notified you're in the top 10 and the vote's going to begin October the 16th. Okay. And, um, you'll have from October the 16th through November the 13th to get those votes in that top 10. And Man. I would have folks mad at me because their name wasn't called. <laughs> right. I mean, no, if it, they look. Yeah. If that, I mean, I'd have got to be through the ring. But you know what? I, you know, I just keep on going, you know, and uh, look at the best ways to make it better, you know? Hey, you know what? I, you can't be mad at them. You know, we won twice. So, you know, we happy. You know what I'm saying? So That's we, right. we, we, we are sitting uh, there right, uh, right up there. So <laughs> we got our two awards. So, hey, if we don't get nominated again, that's fine. We got yeah. two out of it. We won two times. So we good. Absolutely. We good. Yeah. Well, I can so, tell you, I've already seen the nominations for you guys. You're already nominated again. That's oh, wow. Wow, really? That part is yet to be seen. You know? Okay. Wow. Well, hey, well, <laughs> we appreciate whoever nominated us. Thank you yeah, again. Thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> um. Okay, well, cool. So now can I go to the next thing then? Yeah, okay. I, I mean, because I wanted to get my question in, so go ahead. Okay. Uh, are you cool with it, K. Okay, Brian? Brian, go to the next oh, question. Yeah, great. All right, great. so a lot of people don't know this, and I just found out myself. But uh, you have something else going on beside the ATL Awards show. Can you kind of go into detail about that and how can people get involved with that? Most definitely so. Well, the company itself is Passkey Choice Entertainment and Digital Media. Mm-hmm. That's the company that um, produces the ATL's Hottest Entertainment Awards show. That's my parent company. Okay. And, um, our parent company now, you know, we, we branched off um, – Several years ago, we had a uh, a deal to build a, a television network inside of uh, the airports, and um, that deal kind of went went another direction. But I I, I learned um, how to to build the television network um, through that experience. Mm. And, um, so I said, you know what, you know, we had a TV network, we can further promote those that are winning the awards, those that are nominated, we can create another platform, you know, to, to maybe give everybody more visibility. We mm. got a TV network now. So All yeah, right, that's, that's know, what I'm getting at. <laughs> you can, nice. You can, have your stuff. you can be on the television network, and there's a radio piece, too. There's um, Passkey Choice Entertainment Television and Radio. So okay. Radio live 20, 24-7. Uh, we can do live remote broadcasts. We can do everything that, you know, radio stations are doing. You know, and I'm not creating things to be a competition for the ATL's hottest, but oh, no. the ATL's hottest, you know. Um, and, and that's a key word there. You know, there's so many people think that so if you create something that's similar to somebody else, there's a competition. No, it's, it's enough out here. It's, for it's enough out there, and it's mm-hmm. also an addition to um, right. what's going on. So I'm glad you said that key word there. A lot of people get that mistake and they're thinking, oh, right. man. So and so got this thing going on. Say, well, okay, now as a content provider, you got more choices. That's right. So what's, right. The, what's the big deal? You know, so cool. So, so now with this TV network, like exactly how does that work for content providers who who have content that want to be able to get this stuff shown, who may have not been nominated for an ATL Hottest Award or something like that? Okay, well, it's membership based. Okay. Um, within the past, key choice entertainment digital media, there's uh, different levels of membership that a person can join under. Um, we have the bronze free membership, which is free to everybody. Um, then there's a gold, silver, and platinum. Each membership comes with its own level of benefits. Okay. Um, under the free membership, an artist, if you're an artist, um, you can have your music added to a rotation on the radio piece. Um, 
And then there's other benefits that come with that as far as promotion and invitations to the events, you know, and access to our network, which includes you guys. You mm-hmm. know, so um, people that we have access to and the resources that we've built, we're, we make those available to people that join the network, you know, they able to uh, do business with each other, give each other discounts on services, you know, um, be able to be an asset to each other in that, that fashion. Um, then, the, of course, the, the gold and the silver, there's membership um, fees to those. Those mm-hmm. aren't free. But um, the benefits packages that we're putting together are phenomenal. You can go to pkce.tv forward slash join. That's pkce.tv forward slash join. Oh, hold on. Say it again so they can type it on the screen here. <laughs> oh, you saw I can mess it up. Okay. I'll mess it up. <laughs> All right. It's pkce.tv forward slash join. Okay. Got it. Sure. Yeah. And it, it lays out the, the benefits and all that you can join. And um, we're looking to build a family. You know, I'm, I'm a family guy. If you, if you watch my Facebook, you see I'm always with my family. So I'm always about building a family, you know, and um, and a network of people who I consider, you know, friends and associates um, that we, we working to help each other get to be the best we can be, you know. Definitely, definitely. And um, beyond that, um, the extension of the Passkey Choice Network, um, I got to go back to and talk about the ATL America's Hottest Awards Association. Okay. Uh, okay. That's an extension of the uh, ATL's hottest awards. Um, I kept thinking about, you know, it's one thing to have an award show and have people nominated for these awards in these different categories, but it's it's another thing to have everybody come under one umbrella. Mm -hmm. And um, last year we implemented the whole I am ATL's hottest. As my shirt says here, I am ATL's hottest. Mm-hmm. And um, the ATL's Hottest Awards Association is now an association of everybody in the ATL's Hottest. You become nominated, um, you officially become um, an honorary member of the ATL's Hottest Awards Association prior to actually physically going to atlhottest.com and joining the association um, of ATL's Hottest. So um, I, had, um, I had a friend um, say to me years ago, it was like, man, how are you going to name an award show ATLs? How does everybody say that? How are you going to brand something that everybody say? Right. And um, I tell them, I say, that's the part about it. I want them to say I am ATLs hottest. That's yeah. right. Who doesn't want to be the right. hottest? Exactly. You know, don't promote me. Promote yourself. Tell them you are the ATLs hottest. That's you know, right. I am the ATLs hottest DJ. I am the ATLs hottest photographer. You said it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> My yeah, web brand. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. So we're all thing. ATL's hottest. We all out here doing our thing, you know. And I don't want I don't want nominees to say, you know, it's not a it's not a uh underground type thing, you know, it's not uh because you haven't made it, you can get nominated for this thing. I don't want to be construed as that because mm-hmm. I don't feel that our nominees are any again, they're not any less professional, not any less hot than you hear those blowing up the radio on commercial radio every day. Right. You guys are doing a phenomenal work. Your productions are phenomenal. You know, Thank you're you. as hot as Tyler Perry. Yo, you mean for <laughs> your work, you know, what you're doing. But, you know, as again, as those who are striving to go to the next level, you know, mm-hmm. who are perfecting where they are right now to get to the next level, you know, we just want everybody to embrace the award show and let's come in together. Let's celebrate the ATL because it's hot. You know, it's hot That's outside. Right. I'm hot in this room. Hey, it sure is. Hot. <laughs> we, you know, together we make it even hotter you know um every time butter be rocker heat up that stage that's what the atl is hot yeah know? um cats cafe you know who's won atl's hottest live entertainment venue a few years you know that's a hot spot you know um sweet joe i can name you know i can go on and on and on that. oh yeah, but, yeah, yeah cats cafe, we went there didn't we that's what we saw I'm... we saw um butter there that's, yeah that's the yeah butter. they do all of stuff there. Yeah. Okay. And that's a, that's a nice little spot because yeah, it, is. it was funny because we went our first time going here, we felt like celebrities because it was a table waiting for us. People yeah. were buying us drinks. It was yeah. like, well, okay, what, what okay. is happening here? You know, so we didn't know what was going on, but yeah. we went to go see Butter. She had a little showcase going on, which is a great showcase that she yeah. had put on. And I think her kids performed as well, but she also had other singers going on. So it was a, it was a nice mm-hmm. event. She was raising, uh, she was doing a fundraiser for uh, an organization that yeah. helps the homeless. Yeah. That's so, the artist yeah. rocks the mic. 
Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, 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 that's it. And and, and, yeah. and, and people know Renee and I, we hardly ever get a chance to go out because we have a young one and we live so far from everything. Yeah. So when we get a chance to go out and be treated like that, like, oh, man, this is great. <laughs> You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, this, this how it is to be famous? Because, oh, no, right? Because it was already packed. I mean, literally, it was already it was packed. Like and we walked in, and all y'all table over there, like, oh, okay, all right. Because I was like, babe, my feet going to be hurt. We going to have nowhere to sit down. <laughs> but before I even got in there. But, yeah, it was really nice. Was really I really nice. liked that place. Really nice. yeah. yeah. We got we to gotta, we gotta we gotta go, go back. Got to yeah. go back. Got to go back, for sure. So, but, um. Go ahead. So, you know what I'm saying so, so, so far, so you got a lot going on in, in the entertainment industry, you know, from the war show to the TV network, the radio station network. Like, how, how do you keep it going? I mean, I know it's hard for us to keep it going, but how do you keep going day to day with that? <sighs> hey, Murray, just day by day. <laughs> I, get up, I get up every day, you know, um, I have things laid out. I know what I want to accomplish, you know, and um, I just go for it, um, knocking down doors, you know, making phone calls. My phone stay in my hand. <laughs> so it's like another piece of my body, you know. Um, I'm always working. I'm always working. No matter as long as I got this phone in my hand, best believe I'm working. Yeah. You know? And uh, so I'm not confined to being here. You know, to sit in this one spot, I can move about. You know, and get out there with the ATL's hottest. We're about to get uh, more visible um, as the award season progresses. You'll see more and more people out with the ATL's hottest. Um, awards patrol badges on um, as more nominees get official we'll be making more appearances you know um, showing up to events to live speaking, performance. speaking of that you you just made a new category because you announced it at an event we was at uh for educators yeah so like, you, you had so if that's is that something no i'm sure it's something new but what, what made you go into that area well let me say this that's that's really not new um, okay that that's an event that um when i again when i told you when i created the event for my aunt in, in the beginning you know um a few years later a business partner of mine um who works in the school system you know he's like brian let's do let's do a workshop on the teachers you know the great educator you know mm -hmm. and um we 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 just weren't able to make that award show happen you know okay it because it was something new it's just it's about timing you know, right. that's right. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot to do. You know what I mean? And um, I have a tendency, you know, and I, you know, I, I'm working to be more transparent so people can realize, you know, hey, I'm a man, so I'm human. You know, <laughs> I sometimes take on a lot. Right. I fussed that last year. Brian, you doing? You all over town. <laughs> you all over town. You know, and you should be doing this and that and that. You know, I say, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it may call for two hours of sleep. It may call for no sleep. You well, know? we we were happy to know because. A dear friend of ours is been nominated. I think she won. She couldn't get the award that time. Um, Lauren Hunt, and if I remember correctly from the from the event, did, did she win already or? or I, no, he just announced it. Announced it. What okay, you, wait, now what are you talking about? But Lauren Hunt for the educator because she, you know, no, she's a teacher. We no, we have we have not we have not done. That's not our. That's not that's not that's not our award show. Oh, oh no, he haven't done. He haven't no, we, he made an announcement. Oh, he made an announcement. I thought that she had that she couldn't make it or something. No. No. no, 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 no. I, I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. My brain's somewhere else. My brain's somewhere else. Yeah, I think that's I know what you're talking you. about. That's not yeah. you. That's not you. That's it's not another you. war show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think another I, yeah, war I know show. What you're another about. war show. I'm yeah. sorry. You was there. I thought it was you. For, I was there, but that wasn't me. Right. Oh, okay. And, uh, and Lauren Hunt, by the way, um, hats off to uh, to her. She's done a phenomenal work um, with uh, the children. You know. Um, Hot theater for children, you know she's, uh, she she is no, that's not Lauren Hunt. I'm getting myself, I'm getting myself confused. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so many people, man, it's so, it's so many people. But Lauren has Lauren has, has has sponsored the award show um several years, you know, and she she's done a, doing a phenomenal work with the kids, you know. She um, is. Her, you know, she she is really doing it, and um, so. Okay. We are just, again, man. We just we just doing our thing. Oh, also, um, we do have the kids awards. Um, this will be the third year for okay. the ATL's hottest talented kids and rising superstar awards. Ah. so uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so it's not just the ATL's hottest entertainment award show. It's also the ATL's hottest talented kids and rising superstar awards. And there's also the ATL's hottest gospel awards. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So is, is that gonna be all under one? I mean, is that gonna be all the same award show or is it separate shows itself? 
That's separate shows. Okay, separate shows itself. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And all this and people can still go to your website and find out all this information too? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm putting the website We're back up. Put the bottom. that website back up. Now before we actually end the show, is there any words of encouragement that you want to put out there for our viewers and the ones that's actually watching right now? Well, I'll just say, you know, just uh keep striving, you know, to, to be the best. You know, if you think you're the best, you can still get even better, you know. Mm -hmm. and don't give up. Uh, don't take no for an answer. You know, um, if there's not a door, I, on the pass key, if there's not a door, guess what? We're going to build the door. You know, we got the key. That's you right. Know, we're going to help you unlock the doors. Call us, you know. Um, I, I stay on the phone. You know, I, a lot of people call me for advice about different things or, Brian, who can I get me to help me do this or do that, you know. And um, so, you know, just keep striving, you know. Okay. Um, be the best that you can be, you know. Best awesome. I can keep God in your life, you know. If you don't believe, you should believe. Because you know, uh, I know, you know, if it weren't for that, you know, I would have threw my hat you know, a long time ago. I <laughs> so, you know, I'm gotcha. a man of faith, you know, and it keeps me grounded and uh, keep me believing when things look like, you know, there's no way to make it. But there's always, awesome. there's well, always a way. That's always right. Way. That's, that's good. Also, too, that's just just to put it out there, if you need someone like to host, you know, to, to, to give out, you know, an award at the show this year, I'm just saying, you know, TPM Live with Bobby Renee are able to do it. Yeah, you know, just saying? let us know. We don't mind presenting an award if we have to. Just put it out there, you know. No pressure, though. No pressure. No, no. I, I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate that. Uh, I, we want people to get involved. You know? Yeah, it's it's the ATL's hottest awards. You know, that's so right. Get involved in it. You know, don't talk about it. Get Be about it. it. Be about Make it better. You know, because it, it honors us. You know, that's right. You. It honors them. You know, it's it's not the Bryant K. Marshall Awards. It's the <laughs> That's I was right. ATL's and you know, and, and uh, get the show up. You know, it's been you know, and uh, get people to vote for you. You know, help get those tickets. So let's fill the place up. You know, and show up. You know, with this year, you know, it's going to be a little different. You know, um, I want to see people dressed to the nines. You know, it's mm -hmm. not going to be a jeans thing. You know, a lot of people come in dressed to the nines. You know, you see the tuxes, you see some people dressed, you know, in the gowns and whatnot, and then you see some that kind of just rolled out the bed. And I'm like, well, <laughs> where do you think y'all was going? Yeah. You know, yeah. You, well, the you will not get in the door on the 10th annual looking anything less than the best. Well, I, I'd get ready to pick up my clothes because that's how I mean. I would have put on some flies <laughs> and some jeans. I mean, no. some, some, that's just me. I, that's how I was. So, but you got to let it, let us know the date. Do you have a date set for the actual award show yet? Yeah, it's well, actually it's the whole weekend worth of awards. Um, with there being as many categories as there are, um, the award show winning weekend is going to be. It's just that um, we're going to present a, a, awards all weekend long. Okay. So um, there's the image awards for the fashion um, models, mm -hmm. hairstylists. Those that's going to be an award show, um, and then the actors, filmmakers, producers. That's another award show. So it's going to be broken up in segments, you know, in various locations. So make sure you just visit atlhottest.com. You know, follow me, um, I'm Mr. Entertainment Number One on Instagram, and um, ATL's Hottest Awards Ten on Instagram. That's the same thing on on Twitter as well as ATL's ATL's Hottest Awards Ten on Instagram, um, uh, on Facebook. You know, you type in the ATL's Hottest, we're gonna come up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And plus, and also too, I appreciate having the group for the alumni too. So I appreciate that because I, I I got some information over there as well. So you know, thanks yeah. thanks for keeping us posted on that as well. So um, uh, I I don't really have any more questions. No, because I was gonna have him to you know give his information as to where you, people are in contact. Yeah, he you, did that, but you covered that. You <laughs> got that. <laughs> So, so that is awesome. Yes. Well, thank you so much. We definitely enjoy having you on the show, uh, dropping your knowledge and letting yes. us know everything you have going on. We got to definitely tell the masses, guys. We yes. got to get this out here. Y'all share this video so we can get it out to the masses. Mm -hmm. And um, and just be, you know, behind you and rallying behind you on what you're doing here because you don't have to do it. No, you don't have you to know do it. You've been doing it for 10 years. So. You've been doing it for 10 years faithfully, but you do it. Yeah. So um we appreciate really, really appreciate you. that. Yeah. We appreciate it for sure. Yeah. Really like I said, we got our two that. awards right there next to our degrees. Each time we wasn't <laughs> able to make it, but you know what? This year, yeah. we know ahead of time, yeah, we're gonna be there. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna, we're, gonna, be we're, gonna, we're, gonna we're gonna be there. We just gotta 
Just don't make it an all white party because I have nothing we all white. We don't have nothing all white, <laughs> so we <laughs> always get left yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you remember though, like, like maybe about four or five years ago, man. Everybody used to have all this all white parties, and we used to get invited all the time. We're like, we ain't got nothing all white, never. So now we was like, okay, we can go buy some all white. Ain't nobody throwing an all white party anymore. So <laughs> we we so behind the times. Uh, well, you know, um, my birthday's coming up, and uh, that's that's kind of what we're related to. Uh, about doing an all white party. All white. Uh, well, you gotta let me know ahead of time, man, because I, I gotta go buy something because I ain't got nothing all white at all. Yeah. And the stuff I do all white is dingy, so it, it, I don't want to come looking like no, that. You just let us know ahead of time <laughs> so we can get this uh, this one some all something all white. We're gonna have an off-white party. How about that? Okay, yeah, I, I, can, I can do off-white. I can do off-white. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I might get cut away with the bleach sometimes. But, hey, hey, K. Bryant, man, we appreciate you coming through, man. Much so just like, yeah, that's just going to be your name, K. Bryant. I mean, that's just, I mean, you said you, that you go by that anyway, so. Well, I mean, when I was pursuing a singer, a lot of people call me that. Um, uh, as a, as perform, pursuing being a singer, um, as a solo artist, that's what I went by. K. Brian. Brian, wow. K. Marshall. Brian K. Marshall didn't seem like a stage name, so I right. took my middle initial, took it, put it in front of the Bryant, and went by K. Bryant. So I do go by K. Bryant. If in, this, in certain circles you hear people say K. Bryant, K. Bryant. Yeah. I, I mean, I, that's, 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 a dope, that's a dope name. You knew that, honey. Yeah, you, I, you I, knew I knew that. I knew that. Yeah, yeah I knew that. <laughs> that's my name too. I'm K. Bryant too. K. Bryant. I, I do want to go back and um, correct something. That is Lauren Hunt with um, Hot Theater. Something yeah. Like Hot theater, yeah, that is Lauren. Yeah. Hot yeah. theater for kids, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, don't, we, kill we, me, Lauren. don't kill me. Hey, we love Lauren, man. Yeah. We, we, if you see anybody our movies, all the kids are from her. So yeah. that, that's who we get all our kids from. We do our shows, our projects. So we get them straight from her. We tell people, if you got kids, man, go through Lauren because whatever boot camp she put them through, them, they kid, got them, it. them kids are ready. They got it. So okay. that, that's how we do it. But anyway, man, we want to we don't want to hold you up, man. We know you got a busy thing to get going on. It's 736. So, man, we appreciate your time, man. And, um, we hope TPN is behind you 100, percent and we That's hope right. we look forward to seeing you later on this year, man. Thanks so much for the time. I appreciate you guys and much. You, you guys are doing an awesome job. Continue. Oh, right, well, thank you, thank well, you, man. Thank we, you. We, we, we humble, man. We just trying to do what we 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 just doing what we feel is good, and we just doing what we want to do. Basically, you know, we don't we don't put any. Um, restriction on what what we want to do, and right so we, we just say, like, "Hey, we feel like doing it. We're gonna do it." So that's that's it. And, and yeah. You're doing it too. You're doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming. For, thanks for coming through, man. We we'll talk to you soon. All right, y'all take care. See you around. All right. Okay. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. I am ATL's hottest. ATL yes, hottest. ATL hottest. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all just had. Y'all just heard it yourself from the man himself. Yes, man, Mr. K. Bryan or Brian K. Marshall, however y'all want to say the name. I like K. Bryan. I think that's oh, you're just gonna give I'm him going, his. You just, oh, gonna, just call him KB. <laughs> what up, KB? KB. But listen, I wanted to answer uh, Reginald's question. No, that it's not that type of award show as far as um, being nominated for Dexter Jackson's Guide to Dating. It's more of what you do in the um, business, in the business, and and in the community um, type of award show. So yeah, yeah. So, uh, but thank you for putting that out there, though. We definitely Reginald. appreciate it. But Reginald, you actually yeah. you can actually go to the website at atlhottest.com and nominate yourself or whomever mm-hmm. uh, you want to nominate for the, the category they have listed there. Right. So that's how you do it. And um, and those who nominate it, they you know they be voted on amongst their peers in Atlanta, basically. Yeah. And, and that's how that works out. Um, but hopefully, man, we know we we got room for another award so hopefully we get another award this year but if not we still be grateful and humble enough to be um nominated so that's right what you think that was a good show that was a good show was very a good informative good show. Right. so you guys make sure you share it he has a lot of things coming up he have you know his tv network talk coming up his mm-hmm. radio network coming up he got the award show coming up so you have a lot of things in store for um for atlanta so you guys make sure you guys go out and support support support, AT- support. Yes. look out for atl H- uh, hottest awards i am atl hottest make sure you look out for that brand that's right um because i see it everywhere that's what i said who is doing your marketing right? because <laughs> i see it people yeah. have on the t-shirts they got on the, you know, we, we, we for the t-shirt. yeah we didn't get a t-shirt we yeah, didn't we get one of the, the what you call the thingies the the, the lanterns yeah the, yeah we didn't get that so we're gonna have we don't, wait we should we need to bring brian yeah, back gotta, yeah. to see what's going on where our t-shirts at hey you know what brian you still watching <laughs> we, can we get t-shirts <laughs> you know what i'm saying we, we got to get t-shirts i know but exactly anyway, but anyway guys um we do our show every first and third thursday of the month at 7 p.m from 7 p.m to 7 30 we might go a little bit over time however 
Renee is doing the booking for the show. No. Don't ask me. We're both doing the bookings. Don't play. Don't ask me to be on the show. You ask her. You ask her to be on the show, and you can send her an email directly. The Where's new the email? email is so the email address is TPN Live Podcast. You guys should be able to see that at gmail.com. Yes, right. If you're interested in being on the show, just send us a quick email. Let us know what you have going on. And we're going to start booking the shows out ahead of time. That's right. Um, that's so right. that we can know who's going to be on the calendar so we can start promoting that's right. you know, so, far ahead of time. Right. So if you got if you're an actor, you're a producer, you got a film coming up, a play, you're, you're doing an award show, we're looking for those kind of people to be on the show. We're not just looking for people who who just had a baby. If you're a motivational speaker, <laughs> um, if you uh, anything that you're doing out here right now that's mm-hmm. good and that's benefiting the people, yeah, we want you on the show. We want to be on the show okay. and, and talk to you and pick your brain yeah, and, and, and see what's going on because I know I learn things all the time when we have people on the show, mm-hmm. you know. And then when I ask people to say a word of encouragement, yes. you know, they're not only just speaking to you guys, but they're, they're speaking, speaking to us, us as well. So I, I need that. Sometimes you just need to be fed, mm-hmm. you know, especially if you you're doing the feeding all the time. Sometimes you just need people to feed right back into you. So mm-hmm. we really do appreciate that. Yep. And speaking of shirts, if you guys own a t-shirt company, you want to brand your shirt on our show, let us know. Yes. So we can wear your shirts. I love shirt t-shirts. Oh, he loves uh, I have a closet full of t-shirts. Uh, <laughs> I'm not discriminating on moms <laughs> per se, Tessie. No, Tessie, we will never However, do that. we don't want you to have any more babies no time soon. You're good she for now. Have another baby because no, they need a boy. No, they don't need a boy. Yes, they if do. If Kip ain't get a boy yet, he is, is no help for Kip right now. There's no hope for <laughs> Kip. That is it. Kip, let it go, bro. Let it go because you're already outnumbered. <laughs> I know. They both will be outnumbered. <laughs> yeah, that, exactly. So, no, 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 Tessie. <laughs> Tessie, we talked earlier today. So, you go ahead and get your show together your project and get her film fest because Tessie got a film fest coming up as well. Oh, yes, yes. for the veterans. So, Tessie, you make sure once you get everything together, mm-hmm. we're going to have you on the show to talk about that. That is very powerful. That's I right. love that movement. That's so, right. you guys make sure, um, Tessie, you make sure that you contact us when you're ready. Mm-hmm. And we bring you on to the show and we can pick your brain on why you're doing what you're doing. That's right. So, anything else you want to say before we end this show? No. Um, nope. Nope. Yeah. So we're going to end our show how we do all our shows with one, two, three, and peace. peace. We out. Love y'all.